So I was excited and intrigued to hear about a program called Advanced Gateways, which was the pilot program for deep listening in the neighborhood. It helped me understand that the call to spiritual direction that I was hearing might not be in the traditional sense, and that there were other ways to tend the soul. As we shared what we were doing on each retreat, my spiritual direction world got bigger and bigger, and I realized the neighborhood wasn't coming to me. The invitation was for me to go out into the neighborhood, to be available to hear its stories, wherever I happened to be. My sense of the neighborhood has changed as well. At first, I found myself listening to a congregation going through a pastoral transition, hearing their stories of hope and some buried pain. In seminary, I interned as a hospital chaplain, and the hospital became my neighborhood. What was neat was that each unit of the hospital had its own distinct character and even dialect. The ER was different from acute medicine. Cardiac heart transplant unit was different from the respiratory ICU. Wherever I went, however, I was amazed and, and really deeply moved at how quickly people would invite me into their rooms and into their lives to listen to their stories in the midst of some really critical times. In this season, my neighborhood is mostly online. And because it's online, it crosses time zones and borders. And it's been really neat to see how the work of deep listening is expanding into an even broader reach than I'd ever been able to go on foot.